In this video, I come up with a small e-commerce project, so which we can demonstrate by using Docker or Kubernetes, ECS, or even a virtual machine also it will support. Okay, so if you're really aspirant candidate to learn DevOps and cloud, so then definitely you can demonstrate this project and maximum it will take 15 minutes to deploy. That's it. Okay, so you must be required some basic understanding of Docker and uh, how this application is working and uh, what are the port numbers we basically use for that. So that basic concept mandatorily required, then only we can do this. Or else also you can do this, but you might not be understand. Okay, because it's a kind of a small project. Uh, we're not using any complicated strategy over here. Fine. So let me explain this first. So we can see that we have an app. This is my front end UI and I have a database. Okay, so uh, this front end UI and API I'm using in a monolithic architecture. I have only one app. Okay, I have my API and I have my front end in one place. Okay, and I have my database mysql as backend so what we going to do so my project is written in php language so we will create a docker image for this application same as we will create a docker image for database okay then we will connect from this application to database so then after you can access your application and uh, you'll be able to uh, purchase whatever you want you can log into there so you can do a lot of things over there okay so first uh, let me show you the uh, source code so here you can see that this is the source code uh, which is written in uh, PHP language and I have a readme file with me. I'll share this readme file with you in description. You can get it from there itself. So total I have a three to four steps. You can see this install Docker. So you must have to install Docker on your desktop or else you can spin up on virtual machine and you can install over there. That also will be work. Okay. Second one clone below repository. So if you want to do this, you have to clone this repository. I clone this project from one of the git repository uh, so what you can do you can you can do the same you can clone this repository and you will be have all this code with you okay so then third step you have to build a docker image for database okay so i will explain why do you need to create a docker image already we have a docker image in uh, docker app so that's the official image we can trust those right fine but the problem is, see, we have a grocery.sql. See, if you want to run any application, that application definitely would have one uh, database. Database will be have a tables, tables will be have a columns, right? So this developer is already written one schema. So the schema basically it says what, what is the database name? See, you can see that it, it is gonna create a admin. So same as before it's creating admin table, it's gonna create a database, see? Create a database grocery okay so admin is already written uh, all kind of tables and what are the columns they want what are the rows they want everything is already written so we only need to inject this file into our mysql okay so instead of doing manually so he created one docker file so by using this docker file so you can automate the process okay so let me explain what this docker file will do so you can see that under database directory, we have a Docker file and we have a grocery.sql. So we have a two arguments and instructions. So the first from MySQL. So it is going to pull MySQL image, then copy dot, which means, so it going to copy the current file, current directory files. So we have only one file, grocery.sql. So this file will be sent to this docker hyphen entry point hyphen in db.t. Okay, this directory, it's a by default, it will create when you run one MySQL image. Okay, so under this directory, so it will execute this command, which means it will create all the uh, pre-written, uh, you know, tables, database, everything. So you don't need to create any manual database, which means, you know, manually, you don't need to create any database. It will automatically create by using the script. Okay, cool. So that's what uh, we using uh, this third step execute following command. So build a database Docker image. Then that's completed. So next step, uh, build app Docker image. So now we have a database. The same we have to create our API and application, right? So under this e-commerce, you can see this. Uh, we have all the dependency files, including admin, and I have a uh, add address.php, address.php, card.php. I have all the dependency files. See, if you come down here, you can see that Docker file. So in this Docker file, it says, so first it will install PHP Apache. So since it is a PHP application, we mandatory liquid PHP, right? So PHP will work on top of any web server. So we have a Apache web server. 
so you can use, you can use nginx as well if you want so that is uh, completely your choice if you want you can do that so then after it is installing certain dependency so it is installing docker php extension so mysql because if you want to connect from this php or apache to uh, your mysql we need a dependency so this is the dependency we installing uh, for apache then we copying all the file from current directory to var www html so we know by default apache will be store all the index file or the php files var www html that's what i'm sending all the file from my current directory to this directory so you can see that we have a lot of files so i have a my act.php order.place.php a lot of files right so these all files will be sent from current directory or my local system to this container directory okay so next step it is giving all access for the current user run sys mode minus r uh, 777 which means uh, it will give full access for all users will be have a read write uh, execution access so it will give read write execution access for the current directory that's it okay so now we'll go to the next steps third create a network yeah so once you create, once you're ready with your images, database image and application image, then we required our network. So without network, we cannot do. So here you can see that this application is connecting into database, right? So if you creating this application without network, so these two application cannot communicate each other. Okay. So this application will be have a different network. This database will be have a different network IP address. Okay. To make it in same network, first we have to create a network. So then we will bind with that network. Okay. So here you can see that I'm trying to create a network test. Okay. So after creating network test, so I'm trying to run my database. So this is my database run command docker run. So minus minus name database minus E MySQL root password. This is my environment variable. Okay. That's what I'm passing minus E. And uh, this is the password I'm using. I'm using root user and password and minus minus network. So this is the network I used to create a previously test then host name. So host name mandatory required because this application only can communicate by using host name. So host name will give us a DB because already this developer is hard coded host name as a DB in my source code. That's what. Okay. So then I'll come with a minus P. It's a port number or publish. So I'm going to publish this on my local host 9306. So this is my container port number app database. This is my application name or image name. Okay. Same as this is my application run command docker run minus minus name. This is simply a name and a network. I'm going to use a test the same name I used for my database and publish 3080. So basically you can connect 3000 port number and you should be redirect to that application. That's it okay so let me show you my docker images what are the docker images as of now i have see if i come to docker desktop i don't have any images as of now right so what i will do here i will try to create an image but before try to create an image i have to make ensure already completed all these steps right so install docker yeah it's completed clone repository i have all code with me and uh, execute following command what is it build database docker image yeah i have to create a docker image okay so first copy this so you can see this i'm creating a database docker image so the main thing you have to make ensure you have to go to database directory okay so we have a database directory so there only we have a docker file and grocery right i'll go to database directory so let's execute cd command so then database yeah so now i'm under database i can execute ls command so we have a two files one is docker file another one is grocery.sql so let me execute this command docker build minus t app database minus f docker file dot end so this will basically pull one mysql image then after it will copy the current directory files to our container okay once it done then it will uh, automatically create all the tables and database whichever it is already pre-written then so now i create a database let me show you my database image okay yeah so here you can see that i have database successfully created next uh, uh, build an application so let's copy this again so now we have to create an application right application we know that under e-commerce so let me go to one step go ahead 
yeah so now i'm under e-commerce directory let me execute this command so this will pull one uh, docker image uh, which means a php apache image uh, then after it will execute uh, certain things i have already shown that you can see this docker php install mysql these all dependencies will be installed once it pull this apache php okay so then it will uh, copy all the file from the current directory to uh, what www.html then this command okay cool now i have two images you can see that application database and app okay so let me show you all my network we can execute docker network ls and this will show you all your network so we have a bridge i have a e-commerce i have a host i have a none i have a proxy this e-commerce i created uh just couple of minutes ago for just for the testing purpose okay cool so rest everything is default networks we will discuss like what is a bridge and what is a host known proxy okay so in coming lecture fine so let me create a network to create a network you can use this command docker then network and you can use create and uh, which network name okay so you have to specify the network name so i'll go with the test since i've been already given test overview you can see this test right so now i created a network so next uh, we have to run database on that particular network so with the host name db so let me copy this so we have a two lines ah, let me copy this now i will execute this command over you okay so before i'm executing this command i have to make ensure i don't have any container see so as of now it's empty so as soon as i run this container or this command it will create one container over you let me show you that first end yeah it is created one container now i'll go here you can see the database let me open this database so go to terminal ls okay so let me try to connect this database and confirm i have already installed or i have already uh, created all the tables by the help of uh, grocery.sql that file okay to connect database you can use mysql then minus u username since we using root user i'll give a minus u root then minus p enter and password is password enter so i connected database let's see whether database is created or not show databases you can see that we have a grocery database over here successfully created cool okay let's create our application since i didn't specify minus d daemon or detached mode so this will be run on my terminal so i have to open another shell or else this will be uh, you know interrupted and this database will be terminated okay i don't want to terminate again so i'll just uh, open another shell and i will execute this command run application paste enter yeah so my application also started running i'll go to containers you can see that web app and database okay so this web app is running port number 3000 we can just hit on this 3000 and it will open our application yeah it's opened you can see this our uh, e-commerce application okay so first uh, i'll go to my account my account since i don't have any account i'll try to log in but one thing we have to make ensure we have to check whether any database tables created so suppose if i'm creating any new user so the username should be added in our database right so for that we can use mysql client which means you can use uh, mysql workbench uh, or else you can use php myadmin or else any other tools okay so here i'm using beekeeper so by using this beekeeper you can connect any kind of database okay so let me select uh, connection type as mysql and uh, so i'm trying to connect by using localhost right so now i have to specify the port number which port number i'm using over here so database is 9306 i'll give 9306 you can use any kind of tool okay not only this beekeeper you can uh, install mysql which means myspp admin and mysql workbench both will work so the username which is root and the password i will use password okay that's it and default database i'm going to use uh, grocery grocery i'm going to use this is the default database good let me try to test if it is working fine yeah connection looks good let's connect i successfully connected database 
So let's go to user table. This is the user table view data. So as of now, you can see that we don't have any users over here, right? So let me try to create a new user. So as soon as I create a new user, so we'll be get one record over here for user. Okay, which user I create? Let me show you that. So first, let me enter my mobile number. Since I don't have any mobile number, which means I don't have any account, I have to create a new account. Let's click on new account. So let me put Ashik. So email ashik at the rate gmail.com. So mobile number 9567840377. Okay, so password. So password I'm going to use as password only. Password, okay. Maybe there'll be some condition. Let me give a eight characters and register so i successfully logged in now let me show you my account click on my account you can see that ashik successfully connected and this is the uh, mobile number let me go to beekeeper application so still we don't have any record let me refresh so now we have a record over here ashikcompany.com and this is the password it is encrypted by using md5 and uh, we have a number we have a name and uh, this i don't know what is it exactly status is active that's what one okay so they have around 30 plus tables so this 30 plus tables have a different different purpose because it's a kind of an e-commerce application right will be have a lot of thing to manage that's it okay so you can deploy this application wherever you want you can try with the kubernetes you can try with the docker which i which i already done you can try with uh, you know ecs if you want okay you can try with the gcp as well okay so as long as you try this or you demonstrate this you will be get understanding more about it that's it okay so if you have any queries or if you have any doubt you can message me okay so i'll help you out on that message in the sense you can just comment out okay that's it yeah thank you thank you so much bye